Yeah, my intention for Eddie is, uh, at the moment, he's weighing uh, around 200 pounds. He's about 14 stone three. My intention is uh, getting him up over the next eight to 10 weeks to 15, 11, around 16 stone. But um, you know, we're looking to give him uh, more explosive power. Uh, there's a few things we're working on, which uh, you know, talk cheap. So let's see when he when he performs on the day. We all know about his last fight. And, uh, where he's at, so it's going to be very interesting, and it's another good challenge for us. But as a team working together, you know, take me out of it. These guys will bring each other up because it's a good unit, all in everybody's interest. And regardless what you think of Tyson, Tyson is in everybody's interest, which is everybody the very best. And we're going to go on. Eddie's here to achieve the best. He's not here as a sparring partner. He's not here to eventually have a fight with Tyson. It's never going to happen. He's here to be working with us as a team. And we're going to promote him, manage him, look after him. He's living with us 24-7 because I only train and want for 100%. Anything less is not enough. So, Should I go over a bit of um, yeah, you go over it. Yeah. Eddie's past and that? Yeah. Give you a few links and things. That's yeah. uh, just what's happened to him a bit. Yeah, go on. First of all, we take a guy here. Stand up, Eddie. This guy is <laughs> he's a man over there hammering. But this guy is six feet tall. He is a little guy in the land of giants. Sit down, Eddie. Yes, sir. <laughs> and let's not forget, this guy took Vladimir Klitschko, the distance, 12 rounds. I give him a nightmare. Um, and to be honest with you, if he would have been in this camp for that fight, he'd have won that fight. Also, um, this guy fought Alexander Povetkin and punched the face off him for the first six to seven rounds. But he wasn't in shape, didn't have a good camp, and uh, anyway, lost on points. This guy beat Thomas Adamek only one fight ago with one arm. Uh, punched his face in and got robbed blind. Um, this guy jumped into a fight with an undefeated uh, fighter in his last fight, um, unprepared, dropping weight by the banks, and uh, not, not maintaining his weight enough in it, just yeah, jumped in there to go like all the distance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To get down to that weight what he was doing, his diet was something of a vegan diet. And you know, this is absolutely crazy for a professional fighter to be on a vegan diet, eating hardly anything, going in a fight, so it's no wonder going to perform so far below and if he's managed to be this small and get this far in his whole career how good can this guy really be with the right tutoring with the right training with the right sparring the right diet the right strength program the right cardio program and the whole team around him let's not forget you might say what you want about team fury but we have dietitians on board strength and conditioners full-time trainers 24 7 we have all the supplementary the diets, things, all the pills, everything. We have the scenery, the training uh, facilities. We have, we have everything. And we're all going together as a team here. Like Peter said before, we're not here to use anybody as uh, sparring partners or whatever. Uh, we're all here trying and we've all got the same goal in mind, getting forward and win, winning the championship and making plenty of money. Um, you know, we've got the young guns coming behind us there. We've got Tall Yui, 12-0. He's going to achieve big things this year. He's stepping up his, uh, stepping up his opponents, and then we've got another assignment to the team. 